Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Time Traveler. Yeah, it's been such a long time since I've been in this world, and I just had a look around, and it's pretty cool, and uh, base of Minecraft still is a bit sucky. That's pretty cool. Um, so, what I did quickly off camera here was I removed a bit of this wall here to make it more open. I'm thinking that this entire section here i'm just gonna like remove all the walls like four or five blocks in each direction here and have like i don't know something on the sides and then there'd be an actual path here uh because otherwise it's a bit boring upstairs um the nether we're not gonna bother with that um and something else i thought of was we should probably, uh, like, like, make everything look nice, like it is down here. Like, I have these, uh, stone slabs and a cobble ceiling, and then everywhere else is just that. So maybe I'll focus on that today, I don't know. Um, haven't really planned anything for the episode, I just was like, yeah, maybe you should probably record one someday. So that day is today. So I'm gonna see what I can do and then I'll... I'll start doing it, I guess. Okay, so I've been thinking of what to do here and I decided I'm gonna try to make this upstairs bit here up to like about here uh, look somewhat nice. Um, and I decided that the floor is going to be made out of oak wood. It's the only kind of wood we have. But that's what it's going to be made out of. And in the in the floor, I'm going to use stairs to kind of have like an engraving of some sort, some kind of pattern, so it looks somewhat nice, I guess. And I think what I'll want to do is I'll is to have glowstone um, in the floor where where some of the patterns are. Uh, I'll have to think about that some more because glowstone is a pain to get, especially in this version. Um, so yeah, I'll have to think about that for a bit more. Um, I've been standing at that farm for a bit and it's amazing, it works so well. I love the farm. But there's still a few improvements that we can do, so I'll do that another time. But yeah, I'm gonna get some more wood because what I have isn't going to be enough. That is a slight problem. Stairs don't do what you want them to. Alright, so this is where the lights would go, the glowstone that is. Um, for now it's just gonna be like, so I'm gonna put torches here because it's not actually bright enough. Um, and I'm gonna go to the nether and hopefully not die and I'm gonna try and get some glowstone. That portal is so loud. Right. There's a ghast there. There's many ghasts around up actually. You probably can't see anything, can you? Um, glowstone, there's some over there, okay. This is not ideal. I forget, I was only pigment aggro. You aggro? No, good. Um, wow, it is, it is dark in here. Uh, Let's get some cobble out so we can actually like get places. Um all right. Just getting some glowstone. That'll do, I guess. God blew me up. Oh boy, haven't died in a long time. Not good. Come on. Oh, that that was speckle. Okay, let's let's get back inside and let's try get our stuff back. Hopefully, it's not all burnt to a crisp. Okay, so I recovered all my stuff, and I found out that each glowstone only gives you one dust. So uh, that's a bit of a problem because that means I need to collect a lot of glowstone and it's 
especially difficult when you're getting shot at by ghosts. Um, does using a pick help? No. I think occasionally you might get two pieces, but it's rare. Um, right. I don't know if that's enough or not. I think I only need eight. Can I not craft glowstone? Is it a nine by nine? Please don't tell me it's a nine by nine. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna be here for a while. So I'm gonna pause recording again. Alright, so I got all that I needed here, so let me... Okay. Okay, I can deal with this. <laughs> um, let me just replace all of these torches with... Glowstone. Where did the... Do you not get stairs back? Okay, that's a pain. Okay. So th that's our light source. It's gonna it's gonna be great. If I wanted to, I can reverse the stairs as well, and that would probably look better. But I don't want to because it's already bad enough, and I don't think it'll look any better. I I was really hoping that I could get the stairs to connect in, in a corner, but that's not a thing yet. So I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with that for now. Uh, let's try to not misplace any glowstone here because it is expensive. Okay. That looks pretty good actually. I like it. Um, what I want to do I think is have a bit of a walkway in the middle here. Um, also made out of stairs, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna maybe like get rid of all of this and then replace that with stairs um, going in this way so that the lower half is on this side. I don't know, maybe this is enough, but it won't hurt to try, will it? Uh, let's just do three like this. That might look good. Uh, let me let me get some more stairs and I'll try that. It's not too bad, but I think it needs some more variation. So, what I was thinking is on each one of these, uh, we're gonna replace this with a normal block. Maybe I don't know. That might that might be good. Um, uh, yeah, axes are useless in this. Um, So normal block. I think that I think that would look better. And then over here we could um, have it go in that direction. Maybe I don't know. Uh, kind of difficult to really see. Um, let's let's try that. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the rest of this is gonna be just normal wood, and I, I think it looks good that look. I think it looks good over here that there's some pattern, and what I like is that you don't actually dip here um, because you can't fit there. So yeah, I think I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna need to work on the rest of the room now. Um, not sure what to have the wall and the ceiling as. Um, downstairs we had wood as the wall and the ceiling we had as cobble. I think I'll reverse it. I'll have the wall as cobble, maybe, and I'll have the ceiling as stone slabs, maybe. I'll see. Okay, so I have the ceiling and the floor done. Now I'm just deciding what I want to do with the walls because I really don't know what block they should be. I think it should be somewhat a somewhat light block, so not cobblestone, and also cobblestone doesn't look that great on walls. Um, and it can't be wood 
four stone slabs because I've already used those here. So I'm just trying to think of what block to use that is somewhat light. Uh, it's very hard to decide because there's not many blocks to choose from. A black sheep, that's pretty rare. So, I just went and asked myself, what block doesn't get used enough? And my answer is, snow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect a whole bunch of snow here, make it into snow blocks, and I'm going to build with snow. Because it's everywhere. Yes, it's limited. We do not get any snow back until they introduce weather to this, which is quite a bit later. Um, but, doesn't look too bad. It's a fairly clean block, it's light, and it's not used in our base yet, so it's definitely going to be snow. Um, I think I think it's gonna be pretty good. Um, the only problem with it is it's gonna to need to be a lot of collecting. I, I don't think it, snow can melt the snow blocks. Um, might need to test that because if they can melt, then this won't work. But I'm a genius, aren't I? Hmm, it would look better with smooth lighting, I think. But then, in my opinion, everything just looks a lot worse. Um, where is the option for smooth lighting? Because I thought there was one. Am I not smart? Does it not exist yet? Okay, I don't think it exists yet, which is fine. Okay, but yeah, that's what it would look like. That's not too bad, I think. I kind of like it. Um, let me put some wood here. And I'm, I don't think it melts because it hasn't melted yet, and it, I think it would have by now. Uh, so yeah, let me just get a whole bunch of snow and replace the walls here with it. Okay, one test I have to do. Okay, that gives you full back. That's good. That's good. Had to know that. So uh, a lot of animals have spawned here. That's cool. I get some free food. And some leather. Yay. That's pretty cool how you can boost animals onto fences. Although rather annoying as well. Okay, let's go. Let's go finish up the wall there. All right, so this room is now done. Stone slabs on the ceiling, snow on the walls, and a nice floor and wood. Uh, that that took a lot of snow actually. Um, had to go back and forth quite a few times, but it's all done now. Uh, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, it it would be. Better if the lighting was smooth, because otherwise it doesn't look very clean as clean as I thought it would. But that doesn't matter too much. We'll we'll get there someday. Um, whenever I come up here, it kind of like looks a bit foggy to me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm probably gonna leave that for now. I'm not gonna do any more building there. Um, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go to my mob farm and check out what's happening there. Um, it works really good during the day and then during the night you might as well not be there because there's mobs all around and stuff. So low spawn rates and all that. Um, okay, I've got a few items here. Skeletons are a problem in this because they'll shoot you through here and if they hit a creeper then the creeper will blow up. And if the creeper's not fully in water, then, um, well, everything else blows up as well, which isn't good. Uh, but yeah, we get, we get quite a bit out of this. 
I'm thinking maybe I should expand down there, like Ooh. at least double the space. I'm thinking maybe triple the space that I have now. Um, and then this would be about one and a half times as fast if I was to triple it. Um, oh, a spider jockey. Those are rare. We have a lot of skeletons spawning right now. Um, the way that it works is that one type of mob will be spawned a lot, and then the other will just not be spawned for a while. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see what happens here, I guess. Um, we, we just currently had a lot of skeletons spawn. I want to see what happens to the spider jockey. Um, we should probably eat. Okay, so that, that, okay, I understand what happens. Uh, spiders also have trouble getting up there, you have to punch them because they can't climb this. Um, but otherwise it works pretty well. Lots of arrows, that's good, we need arrows. Um, we need to hit spiders in some way. Also, spiders can hit you from a really long way away. Uh, that surprised me. Uh, there's some zombies coming up. Anyway, that that's the mob system for now. Oh my god, there's a lot of arrows there. Um, an idea I had for this mob system, what I want to do is I want to basically expand on this so like you can control where mobs go and stuff. I want to have it so that I have like one skeleton um, go up to somewhere and for him to shoot into a block many times, so I need to work out an exact position where if he was to shoot, he, the um, arrow would consistently hit a block, and then what I want to be, to be able to do is then below that block have a whole bunch of mobs, and then I can break that block, and then all the arrows will fall down and hopefully kill the mobs. I think that would be a cool idea, but I need to play around with that at some point. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that in the next few episodes, I don't know. Um, I'll see what happens basically. Yeah, that that's it for today. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you don't want to miss anything out, hit that notification bell. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.